All right, so real quick before I get into the trick, I want to give a huge shout out to an Instagram account, guys. This is going to be such a simple deck giveaway. All you have to do is click on the link and follow the account. It's going to be all about this really cute dog. It's a corgi. His name is Peaches. You guys have to make sure you follow the account. Okay, it takes literally two seconds, and I'm going to be picking from the newest followers on that account. But make sure you can comment done when you have done so. So it does make it a little bit easier, guys, and you'll be getting this um, unopened black deck of bicycle cards. So make sure you guys do that. And anyways, guys, here is the video. All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a uh, really cool trick using just one deck of cards. It's going to be impromptu, so you can do it um, using a borrowed deck. And anyways, guys, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than most of the tricks that I've been posting. Um, anyways, here's what it's going to look like. All right, so to start off the trick, what you could do is have the spectator shuffle up the deck like this, and then you can have them tell you when to stop. Let's say they said stop here. It is a completely random selection. Let's say... They stopped you at the nine of diamonds. So remember the nine. Uh, what we're going to do here is place their card in between two cards of this deck. And let's say you place it in between the two eights. It's pretty simple to remember. We have the eight of clubs and the eight of hearts. So let's go ahead. We'll take your packet and let's leave it on the table over here. Your card is face down um, in the middle of that packet in between the two eights. So let's say uh, we go ahead and we pick another card. Uh, you can just say stop whenever you want, and let's say you wanted to pick the king of hearts, for example. You could have picked the ace, the two, the five, really any card that you wanted to. And uh, keep in mind, we have two selections here. We have your card, which is in this pile, and then we have the king, which you just now selected. And what we should do here is take the cards. So we take the first packet that you had, and we can spread it open. And I can show you that in between the two eights, your selection sort of switched. And now we have the second card, the King of Hearts, in between the two eights. So this is a trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so um, this trick is going to be impromptu. So all you need is just a regular deck of cards. Um, I'm not going to be going too much in detail with the really easy moves, just considering this is a slightly more advanced than most of the tricks I have on here. So I don't want to I don't want to bore you guys to death um, by just saying the same thing. So um, basically, you could start it off. You could have the spectator shuffle the deck. You can take it back and you can riffle down the side, have them tell you when to stop, and it's a completely random choice. And what you're doing is you're picking up the cards where they say stop, and you're fanning them out, flipping over the next card. In this case, we have the three of diamonds. So you have the spectator, remember the three. Um, it might be easier to do this trick with two spectators just because you are picking two different cards. Uh, but anyways, guys, you have them remember the three, and you say okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take your card and place it in between two of these cards in this pile. So what you're doing is you're kind of putting their card towards this side of the fan. And let's say you put it in between the jack and the three. So you tell your spectators, uh, remember the jack and the three because at the end of the trick, um, they're going to be, you need to have them remember them because you're the spectator's card is going to be in between those cards. Um, at the end of the trick. So you place their selection, you show them they have the three in between those cards, you close up the fan, leaving their card out jogged, and you push down on their card like this, catch a small pinky break, or a small thumb break here, and you take that packet from the break, and you give it to the spectator to hold on to, and you tell them that this is their card, or their packet with their card face down, in between the uh, 10 and the 3 but in reality this is just a face up packet so you have them hold on to it in their hands so this way they can't see if the cards have actually lost a little bit of thickness and their selection is really on top of the deck with a few face up cards below it so at this point what you do is you flip over the deck and you don't really say anything about it you say okay I'm gonna go ahead and have you pick another card and what you're doing is you're pulling down the bottom card here with your pinky and you're swing cutting the cards leaving their card on the bottom so you just do a little swing cut leaving their card on the bottom of the deck pulling out the bottom the bottom deck here and leaving their card on the bottom and then from here you take this packet and you can say look go ahead and say stop so you're riffling or you're just sliding down a few cards and let's say they wanted to say stop here in this case you can tell them okay you want to pick the eight or the queen they pick the queen and you slide it off and when you start it off, you keep it in a pinky break so you can come back over and say, look, you could have picked 
um, the 10 if you wanted to. And when you say the 10, you can move the top half of the deck over. That way you can steal the queen as this deck, or as these cards are in middle grip. You move the thumb over, you grip the bottom of the queen with your thumb and the top of it with your middle, and you slide off the 10, and that way you have the queen on the top of this packet now. So at this point, keep going, and you say, okay, look, uh, you could have picked any card, and then what you do is you move the cards from your right hand to the bottom of the deck, and now what you've done is you've controlled their queen to the top and replaced it for the card that was there before. So from here, you, you did have the deck face up, you flip it back over so the cards are face down. And you say, go ahead and give me your packet back. Um, and you place it back on top of the deck. And you say, remember, you picked um, a selection and you kind of remind them what their first card was and you remind them which cards was in between. And from here, as you can see, there's a natural break when you place this packet back on the deck. And what you do is you say, okay, look, so I'm gonna take your packet again. And what you're doing is you're taking it from that natural break that was in the deck here. So you take it from the natural break, you spread the pack and say, look, remember, look, your card is still in between the jack and the three, but when I snap my fingers, your first selection switches for the second one, and it switches just like that, and their second selection goes in between the exact same cards you put it in from the beginning, so um, it's a really nice trick, guys, it all comes full circle, um, I hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching.